What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. So, sometimes you get into a creative funk. You want to create something, but you don't know what to create, so you get anxious, and then you get anxious about being anxious, and then you're not knowing what to create, but you want to create something, so you're getting anxious about not knowing what to create, which therefore makes you more anxious. It's a mess. Time and time again, I found myself in that kind of place. The fiery pits of creator's block. And when you're in this creator's block, you have these kind of endless circles of not knowing what to do. You're kind of just stuck spinning your wheels. You don't want to be doing this. You want to be moving in a straight line. You want to be excelling. You want to be moving forward. And this kind of makes sense, because as you guys know, if you follow me on Twitter, I was on vacation last week. I spent a week to kind of relax for the summer and uh, actually didn't end up doing any kind of filmmaking or photography on vacation. And since I didn't shoot anything for a week, lo and behold, surprise, here we are. Creator's block. That's what happens, man. You slip up for just one week. You don't do anything for one week and then you try to create something and you just end up But here's the thing. I've been in this spot before. I've faced creator's block before and I've gotten out of creator's block before several times. So today I thought I'd share with you guys my three tips or three steps to getting out of creator's block. Three things I do or three things I pay attention to when I'm facing creator's block that usually help me out of it rather quickly. Look what I'm doing. Two minutes into this video, I'm already getting all worked up, all sweaty, leaking like a sprinkler head. So without any further ado, here are the three things to keep in mind when you're facing creator's block. The first thing being Creator's block is normal. If you're facing creator's block, it's very important to remind yourself that facing creator's block is a normal part of the creative process. Don't let anyone tell you you should be at 100%, 100% of the time. You'll freak yourself out when you're not. It's okay to get in a creative funk from time to time. It's okay if you go a little bit longer than usual or longer than you like to without creating something. It's okay to have creator's block. And in fact, I would look at it this way. You can't have creator's block unless you're involved in the creative process, unless you're a creator. So you should know that creator's block is actually a pretty good thing because it's a signal to tell you that you're a creator in the creative process. You're actually in a creative rhythm and you're noticing when you're out of that creative rhythm. Because once you accept that creator's block is a natural part of the creative process, you don't think about it so much. When you think less about creator's block, you're not putting yourself in a position to focus so much on the negative and you're opening yourself up to the positive. That positive being getting out of the creator's block through step number two, which my advice would be make don't create. I mean, I get it. Sometimes the word create could be a little intimidating. Let's use baking cookies for an example. Not so sure this was the greatest example, but I'm, I'm gonna roll with it. Anyone with the right tools and ingredients could make cookies. But if you start to say you wanna create cookies, all of a sudden it sounds like you're trying to reinvent the wheel or in this case, reinvent the cookie. Because the word create, at least in my eyes, makes it sound like you have to create something out of nothing. But making something using the tools and the ingredients you already have is something you've done before so you know how to make something. One of the biggest pieces of advice I could give if you're facing creator's block and something I follow myself is to get out there and just start making things. Not creating things like we just talked about, but making things. Making things you don't have the intention of even end up using, but that's okay because the making is the point, not the making for the sake of keeping something. So go out there, take your photo, make photos by, I don't care if you have to photograph the local dumpster from four different angles. Just make photos by taking photos of something or make videos by filming a simple Q and A video or even just a diary entry kind of style video. It's saying what's on your mind. Realistically, it doesn't matter what you make because it's not what you're making that's the point. It's the actual process of making and not focusing on creating. But like we just talked about, the funny thing is by making something, you actually are creating something. And I know I probably sound like a madman here, but I promise you this makes sense. By actually making something, you're getting back into that creative process, but you're not really thinking about the creation as such a big task at hand because Here's the secret. With the creative process, we naturally think we have to be inspired before we get motivated, and then we have to be motivated before we actually start creating. So that makes sense why we get creator's block sometimes, because sometimes we just sit around waiting to be inspired and thinking we have to be inspired before being motivated and therefore creating something. But each and every time I've gotten out of creator's block myself, I've cheated by actually reversing the creative process. When I'm facing creator's block, I actually reverse the creative process. So first I'm creating, then I'm being motivated, and then I'm being inspired. You see, creator's block most powerful tool against you is making you think you have to be inspired first. 
So you're basically just waiting around to be inspired and if that inspiration never comes, you're just gonna be waiting and waiting and doing nothing and staying stagnant. But when we reverse that process, you're automatically immersing yourself back into the creative process, from which point, naturally, yes, you could then reverse the creative process back and then you could once again be inspired, be motivated, and then create more. And since we already know you can make something instead of having to create something, you could make, be motivated, and then be inspired to get back in that creative process, to get out of creator's block and to get yourself up and moving again. So the best way of looking at this I'm gonna to try to bring it together in a metaphor or simile, whatever it would be. Simile? Metaphor? Simile, I think. I don't know. One of the two. I'm gonna leave you with a metaphor slash simile here. Look at creativity as a kind of lever. As you're going about your creative process on a consistent basis, you're cranking that lever. It's moving, no problem. You're cranking out the content. You're creating. Everything's good. But if you leave that lever for a week and you go on vacation or you just stop creating altogether for an extended period of time, that lever could end up rusting a little bit. You'll notice it's a little bit stuck because of the rust. But the nice thing is if you just kind of yank on a little bit and you start pulling that creativity, what I call it, a lever? Lever? A latch? A lever. As long as you keep wiggling and working at that creativity lever, eventually the rust will break free and the thing will start moving freely again. Therefore, once again, allowing you to crank that creativity lever, therefore putting you in the creative process, therefore allowing you to once again create. Now, I know a lot of that probably sounds a little bit easier than it is, but don't let creator's block be the voice in your head that's telling you that. This is what I do to get out of creator's block, it's what works for me, and hopefully I'm making sense here. Clearly I'm getting over a little bit of a cult, so I'm a little foggy, but I'm like 90% sure everything I just said made sense. Okay, 89%, but still. But with this three-step system, I can almost guarantee you'll get yourself back into the creative process, creating stuff once again, not worried about creator's block. Getting yourself back into that creative groove, using that creative momentum, getting that creative rhythm you're so used to having. Don't forget to comment your thoughts on getting rid of creator's block in the comment section below. Ooh, I feel good, I'm back into the creative rhythm now, is cranking that creativity lever. I'm gonna go keep cranking this thing to keep the creativity going. I'll see you guys in my next video. Crank it, baby, crank it. Crank that creative. Oh, Well, maybe not that hard, but you get the point. Ouch.